Watch. Tarek. New details surrounding Brian Laundrie's death have been uncovered. Human remains belonging to the 23-year-old fiancé of slain YouTuber Gabby Petito were found at a Florida reserve in October following a month-long police manhunt. Though his death was later revealed to be a suicide, with his family's attorney telling E! News that Laundrie died of a gunshot wound to the head, the full autopsy results had not been released until Monday, February 14. In a 47-page report obtained by E! News, officials with Florida's District 12 Medical Examiner's Office shared their findings on Laundrie's remains, which they described as skeletal, and the personal effects that were discovered at the T. Mabry Carlton Jr. Memorial Reserve and Miyakahachi Creek Environmental Park on October 20. According to the report, numerous bones recovered at the scene showed signs of moderately extensive carnivore activity evidenced by multiple gouging and gnawing marks. The report stated that the markings were consistent with animals such as feral dogs, coyotes, rodents or raccoons having chewed on his bones after his death. A description of the autopsy read, multiple long bones including bones of the arms and legs all disclose carnivore predation activity characterized by gnawing and chewing. Some of Laundrie's remains were found alongside a pair of green shorts, two slip-on shoes, a backpack with unknown contents, a white metal ring and a short barrel revolver handgun with extensive rust, the report read. Meanwhile, a red hat with the logo Moab Coffee Roasters and a handwritten half note, the contents of which was not specified in the report, was found at a secondary location near some animal remains. One investigator noted that a green backpack containing an unpitched tent and flares were also discovered at the second scene. Additionally, a dry bag packed with a journal along with a wooden box that contained a small notebook and photographs, some of which included laundry, was found at the reserve about 250 feet away from the primary location, according to the report. In January, the FBI announced that laundry had admitted to killing Petito, whose body was discovered in Wyoming's Bridger Teton National Forest on September 19, in a written confession found in a notebook recovered alongside his remains. All logical investigative steps have been concluded in this case, FBI Denver Division. Special Agent in Charge Michael Schneider said in a statement. The investigation did not identify any other individuals other than Brian Laundrie directly involved in the tragic death of Gabby Petito. In a press release, federal authorities also claimed that Laundrie, prior to his death, had used tactics to deceive law enforcement by giving the impression that Ms. Petito was still alive, including using Petito's debit card after her death and sending text messages between their phones. Petito was first reported missing by her parents on September 11, nearly a week and a half after Laundrie returned to his Florida home alone following their cross-country road trip together. Days after authorities launched an investigation into Petito's disappearance, Laundrie's parents informed investigators that their son had disappeared as well, police said. Laundrie, who was previously named a person of interest, not a suspect, in Petito's disappearance, did not speak to law enforcement before he went missing. An attorney for Laundrie's family had no comment about the autopsy report when reached by E! News.